Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So a thought came across my mind today that I really wanted to share with you guys. And I was talking with some of my students today about reading, the importance of reading, what kind of things they read and how much they read, you know. And unfortunately, today's youth, when we look at what they actually read, it's like either surfing through, you know, the internet, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever source of, um, you know, social media there is. And I'm sad to say that this is not reading. Reading is something that's supposed to benefit your mind, expand everything here, make you think, make you contemplate, make you kind of reflect, make you learn, benefit yourself and benefit those around you, right? And the reason why I'm saying this is because when we look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, and he sends down angel Jibreel alayhi salam to the final messenger to humanity, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what is that first word in the revelation? Think to yourself. Was it pray? Was it fast? Perform some sort of pilgrimage? Some sort of physical effort? No. What was the first command? Iqra. Read. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God, sending down an angel to the final messenger, and his first command is read. Do you actually read? What are you reading? I'm sorry, I have to say this, but it really eats my heart up. We're learning about the Abbasid Empire, which is a little bit, you know, less than, or maybe somewhere about, it was, was from 750 to 1258, about a thousand years ago, more or less. And if you see the uprise and the advancement they were in, since the foundation or the founding of Bayt al-Hikmah, the House of Wisdom, and you see scholars and scientists from all over, all different nationalities, all different kinds of religions coming to Baghdad, right, which was the center of knowledge. It was the city of buzzing and people trying to further research, people reading, people writing down their researches and their translations, all different kinds of scriptures, philosophies, knowledge, religion, everything you can imagine. And at the same time, if you go a little bit further down into Spain and Cordoba, and it was called at that time the City of Light. They actually had lights in their streets. And I'm talking about 750 to 1258, a time when we look in Europe where there was very, very little knowledge or not even knowledge if you found any paper it would be in the Montessori's right there was no light it was dark it was dark Europe was dark and you have Cordoba people would go there the city of the light with running water and homes you had lights in the streets you had these unbelievable libraries and books and basically if you look at the Abbasids what they did was they learned how to make paper from the Chinese and you had libraries and bookstores and people learning and what happened there was advancement. There was an unbelievable movement of people wanting to learn. It doesn't matter where you came from, what you were doing, but people had that urge. The people were kind of like competing to come to Baghdad to get these jobs and to be what scholars. And people were treated not based on what tribe you came from, what your ethnicity was or your skin color, but basically it was based on your knowledge your status and knowledge. Think about this, guys. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sending down Angel Jibreel to earth with the first revelation to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he tells him, Iqra'a bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Read in the name of your Lord that created. Pick up a book today and go read something that's beneficial. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.